Oh boy. Oh boy. You're listening to The Joe Cronin Show, a wrestling podcast with attitude. Well, it just keeps getting better in the WWE. All the news um, right now that just surrounds the WWE is insane. Um, th- th- there's there's just really so much to get to. Like, Put your phone down, turn on a video game, or get ready. I don't know. I don't know how long this is going to go, but maybe it won't go long. Maybe this will go sh- <laughs> quicker than I thought it would. But um, Pro Wrestling Sheet has confirmed uh, Road Dog no longer the head of writer. Yeah, yeah, a lot of people figured that out. Sources tell them mutual decision. I think that that's probably true. Uh, one source said it's possible uh, Brian could fill the role once held by Arn Anderson at live events. But right now it's not clear on the Road Dog's new role or what he's going to be doing going forward. He may just be... Uh, Sort of a, it says a utility player because he kind of a jack of all trades. He can do almost anything really with the company. So they may just plug him in and see where he's the best at at the time. I don't know. Does that mean Bruce Pritchard is going to slide into his spot? You know, I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen. So that that's that. But there's so much more. There's so much more. The other night, uh, everybody noticed that Drew McIntyre went missing. During the uh, the uh, the th- the six man tag match with the bar, they introduced their friend, and and it's being confirmed, so to speak, that the reason why is because WWE wanted Drew McIntyre nowhere near the main event, nowhere near a loss at the end, so he would just make his way to the back. I guess, like I, I don't understand this. I, what I don't understand is why he didn't just brawl with somebody to the to the end of the crowd or something. You know, brawl into the crowd, and then as the loss happens, you're nowhere near it. Why just have him, like, sneak away to the back, pretending he was injured? So Drew McIntyre apparently is not injured. It was part of the plan for Drew McIntyre to waddle his way to the back to get away from what would be a loss. Now, even though... Like either way, if he's injured, that to me that makes him look weak. The last few days we've been talking about him injured. I, I don't know. That's just me. Why not have him fight with a member of the New Day into the crowd? Have him fight into the crowd with the person. Like where did they go? They're they're going all over the place. Then have a camera shooting them beating each other's asses in the concession area, and then they lose sight of them or whatever. That's fine. And then have the match continue. That'd be more exciting. The match would be better. It would make more sense. It does keep him away from the ring with a with a pin. He didn't do it. He's fighting somebody, and he comes out on the winning end of that. If you'd like, uh, so so anyway, he is not injured. Drew, Drew McIntyre is not injured. However, Biggie Langston is injured. Biggie is injured. So that's the funny thing. Uh, it will not funny because that's horrible. But Biggie is the is the injured one. Biggie is injured. He's got to have his knee scoped or something like that. I I don't remember, nor have I looked up how long that takes to heal. I don't think it's a major thing. I think it's a like a sixty day thing or less. I believe. I mean, that's a lot, but it's not when you think about it. You know, it's surgery. So I I don't know if that's true, but I I think it's about sixty days or less after you scope your knee that he can return. I I just guessing though. I have no idea. Someone probably in the chat will tell me. Joe, this and that about a person being scoped. Uh, X-Pac, or Sean Waltman, said he thinks he knows why the fan attacked Brett. He said, uh, and, and Sean Waltman praised the beating, which I, I don't, I agree too. I think the guy, you need to get your ass kicked, man. You can't just do stuff like this and it's okay. So I'm glad, uh, you know, Sean, you know, Sean Waltman doesn't want to see anybody beat up, but in this case, this guy does need a beating and I agree with Sean Waltman on that. He says he saw an opportunity at that point. I agree, because the first presenter was Honky Tonk Man. So the security is at its most heightened at that point, like looking around. And Honky Tonk Man had Jimmy Hart in there with him and some other things. So that was going to be tough. I assume that even as crazy and stupid as this fan is, he just he didn't want to attack a woman. Therefore, he didn't attack Tori Wilson, because I assume because she was a woman. That this guy didn't want to jump in there and tackle her. So I think that's why he didn't attack her. And uh, I don't know. I get Who knows, though? He's, he attacked a guy who had a stroke and cancer, though. So, I mean, you know, who the hell knows what 
this idiot would do. I hope he gets the shit beat out of him somewhere. I just, I, I don't know. I don't want to see anybody hurt or killed, like, really. But, you know, I'd like to see a good beating on somebody who does something like this. Sasha Banks is just loving her Instagram posts. Are you guys loving Sasha Banks posts from all over the outside the country and having a blast? Complains on inst on uh, social media left and right and all these other things. But uh, she's out there having a blast with her seamstress boyfriend or, or husband or whatever now. Uh, and Kalisto, I guess. I don't know, man. I don't know what they're doing. She's diving in the lakes and oceans and just having a blast out there. I don't know. I'm not really sure what, what is going on with her. She's in the Dominican Republic. God, I'm just... I'm irritated by these people. WWE writer says he quit at the Hall of Fame. We talked about that in a video before this one. Uh, Vince McMahon apparently was going to fire him or he was going to be fired. So he decided to quit instead. So that's happening. Uh, Enzo and Cass have new merchandise with Ring of Honor. So that's going to be interesting. Uh, we talked about Road Dogg stepping down. Stu Superstar. I'm going to call him Stupid Star. Billy Graham still going after the whole Kofi Kingston thing. Now he's saying Kofi Kingston should use steroids. <laughs> what? He's like, man, that Kofi Kingston needs to use some steroids. And I, I guess uh, he might be getting in a fight with Booker T online. You know, I don't know. He wrote steroid Kofi hysteria. Okay, fans, I hope someone can get the message to Kofi that me, superstar Billy Graham, has him all over Facebook that he is causing pure pandemonium. I don't know. Somebody wrote, this guy wants everybody to be as miserable as he is. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, I mean, Wendy Williams is going to love seeing all those photos of Sasha Banks just having a blast in the in the water and out in the Dominican Republic. She's just loving it, living up life. And poor Wendy Williams had to interview a frog instead of Sasha Banks on her show the other day. Poor Wendy Williams. Oh. But anyway, that being said, guys, there's, there's more to talk about. There is much more to talk about. But um, I'm going to make a separate video for the rest of the stuff if I have to put together that stuff. Um... I want to say thank you to all the patrons uh, of the show. And tonight I will be live with Thursday Night Throwdown. So on my other YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Corrupted Podcast, I'll be live with uh, Thursday Night Throwdown. So no wrestling talk over there, but uh, there'll be a lot of cool sh uh, shit that happens. I also want to shout out all the associate producers of the show uh, for backing the show the way you do. Any patrons that are $25 and above, I just want to say thank you uh, to these uh, this big group of individuals. That is Justin McNeil, Daryl Stoltz. Justin uh, McNeil is on there twice because I forgot to take him off the other part. Gary Metzler, Mikey Two Crikey, Big Bad Ads, TJ, Andrew Ryan, uh, Arknolia, Strokelbean, Gerald Armstrong, Nikki J, Jabroni Jabber Podcast. Me and him are going to be doing a hockey podcast later. Because uh, the Bruins are on tonight, so I can't wait to watch hockey tonight. Playoff hockey's here. I'm enjoying all the games. Uh, Nikki J, Jabroni Jarrett Podcast, Frog Kid, Trey Hendrickson, Ryan Pelletier, Steamy Wet Broccoli, Big Matt, Awandi, Big M, Coop the Comedian, The Bear 1322, Broken Lion, CJ Bradley, and Star Scream is back. Thank you guys for being uh, big time supporters on Patreon. Stuff is coming to the Patreon this week. We already put a couple things up earlier. And I'm about to upload Morning Madness 160 in just a little while. So come hang out on the Patreon family over there with me and everybody else. Justin Bailey and myself, bunch of new episodes coming this week. We're recording in the morning. Bailey and Cronin is back. And a uh, big time morning show coming. It's, it's going to be good. Plus me and Leah, my wife's podcast coming as well. Me and Dave Rose should be getting Final Frontier News back up and uh, going as well. Uh, and that's about it, man. I plugged everything. More wrestling news coming today, though. Patreon.com slash Joe Cronin Show. Uh, send me your love over there. It'll be a lot of fun. Or hit me up on, on uh, Twitter for uh, just for fun, at CorruptedPod. Also, thanks for 2,500 followers on Instagram, Instagram.com slash Joe Cronin Show. That is below in the description box as well. Anything else breaking before I get out of here? I always like finish these and then some other new 
news comes out. Well, there is this thing about the Miami student arrested for RKO, apparently. <laughs> this kid tried to RKO his principal. I hate when they try to connect these things to wrestling, too, by the way. It's like... It's like it's it's stupid, you know. If some whatever somebody sees anywhere, they'd imitate. You know what I mean? Or 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 somebody wanted to go up and punch a principal. That happens all the time. Calvin Hughes. This is only making news because it's we're wrestling fans and we're looking for it. Because it happens all the time. Where download the local. God damn it. Okay. This advertisement is about as enraging as it gets. <laughs> Oh, oh, wow. Oh. The kid barely did anything, really, when you think about it. Oh. I'm looking at it. So the kid, like, reaches up pathetically, like, RKO! Like, almost like he's pretending to do the RKO on the principal, and then the principal tackles him. That's not even that big a deal. I can't even play the video for you anymore because of how YouTube is. You never know if this somebody is going to claim it or whatever. It's, it's, owned by, it's owned by somebody already. Somebody paid the rights to own it already. It's, it's lame. Don't even bother looking it up. It's like the, the guy lifts up his arm to RKO. The principal is a joke. And then the principal tackles him or whatever. I don't blame the principal, though. You don't know what the kid's doing in the, this day and age with everything. I, I get it. But it looked like the kid was just kind of playing around. If he was really trying to RKO him, he... Oh, my God. It should have been insane. This kid was more like kind of goofing around. That was weird. Yeah, it's but it's not a really... I mean, dude... I mean, dude, there's people, there's principals right now somewhere getting stabbed, you know, or beaten with a shoe and shit like that. Just weird stuff. That stuff's gone like world star and all these places. Like this is nothing to be honest. It's a whole lot of nothing. Anyway, guys, love you so much. Uh, you guys are the best. I appreciate you all. And uh, I've been having a lot of fun, man, on the show with everybody. It's cool to see a lot of old school people coming back to, to the channel and, and hanging out, man. It's been so good. We've had so many news videos. We've done so much content. It's been a lot of fun, man. I'm glad you guys are having fun in the chat. You know, we've stayed away from just this weird, like, the drama that, that goes on with some people. Like, I've, I've stuck away. St luckily, we've stepped away from that, kept away from all that, and it's been uh, it's been way better here recently. Um, and I just appreciate all you guys coming back and the people that have been up in pledges and having fun in the Discord and on Patreon especially. Uh, we'll be doing some live Q&As over there. And I'll be live tonight with Throwdown, as always, at 10 p.m. Eastern Time, U.S. Just look up your own conversion wherever you are, what time that is. But uh, basically, it's in about four hours from now. And uh, it'll be weird, man. A lot of news to talk about. If you guys want to send me news or videos, things that are new that you found or that you want me to talk about, make sure you send it to me either on Patreon, Twitter. Email me if you like, joecronshow at yahoo.com. And uh, I'm in. That's it. I'm finally out. Here's some videos you guys might have missed because YouTube isn't alerting you. Make sure you guys hit the bell. You hit the sub. You unsub. Hit, uh, resub. Hit hit the bell. Unre. Hit the bell. And one of the biggest things is just keep coming back to my channel every day. Even if I didn't upload something, come back to my channel a couple times a day and watch a video or whatever. And YouTube will start recommending you all the time to me. And they'll start telling you like, oh, he's live, he's live, he's live, you know. So the people that aren't getting live notifications, try to just like molest my channel if you can. And uh, you should get them. But there are still some people saying that even with all that, they don't, they still don't get them. So, um, But if you're a patron, when I post on Patreon, you get an email alert that, like, that pops up in your email. So that's another way that it can help you. Anyway, now there's really some videos popping up that you might have missed now that I babbled on. Enjoy. And I'll be back with uh, another video in a little while.